Hello everyone, Ray Garner from Garner's Games, here today to talk to you about Flames of War, one of the most affordable miniature games on the market today. As you see before you is my army that I have painted up for the D-Day invasion. These are all built around the Hit the Beach box set. This is my American and my German armies. Now focusing in here, you'll see my parachute rifle company. Got the two HQ in the back, two maxed out platoons with additional bazooka teams, plus the team from the original box set, which also has a bazooka team in it. All this infantrymen are worth 44 points total. It only costs an extra $40 to get that many infantrymen after you got the starter box. Up here, we have my Sherman company. This consists of the two HQ Sherman tanks, along with one platoon of 76 millimeter Shermans and two platoons of 75 millimeter Shermans. The HQ tanks are worth seven points. The two 75 platoons are worth 18 points each. And the 76 platoon is worth 23 points for the tank company to total out at 66 points. It brings the entire U.S. Army to 110 points. Switching over here to the German side. I have the infantry that's provided in the Hit the Beach starter. The Beach Defender Grenadier Company. Got the two HQ there. There were two points. The two MG rifle platoons. They were seven points each, along with their one anti tank uh, unit. Then we got the Tank Hunter cannons. They also came in the starter box. Then I've added a box of eight centimeter mortar platoon to the unit. That brings the entire infantry over here to 27 points. But the highlight of the German army, of course, is the Panzer tank company. Panzer IV to be accurate. The two HQ tanks are worth 11 points and each five tank platoon of Panzer IVs are worth 28 points each for a grand total of 67 points. Making the entire German army worth 94 points. I still have a little bit of room that I might add a couple of things or be able to take some command cards. And the total cost of that army is an additional 115 bucks. If you're curious what that looks like, that's simply two boxes of tanks for each army and then a box and then a blister pack, if you will, of infantry for each army. And of course, then you can also add in the invasion books for both America and Germany. But the grand total to have this army on the field, not counting the books, is 315 bucks. If you want to add in the books, it makes it 365. Now, if you're wondering, a hundred points game on this is about the equivalent of a Warhammer 40k thousand point game, and at three hundred and fifteen dollars, that's less than half the cost of most Magic modern decks. Actually, for a lot of modern decks, it's probably not even twenty five percent of their cost. But this game is fantastic. It's affordable. The miniatures are easy to put together. They are fun to paint. I think it's a really great game that folks should check out, especially if you're any kind of a historian or historical fan or just a World War II movie fan. Come by, check it out. I can talk to you more about it. Appreciate y'all listening. Thank you very much.